gravy on everything? Well, I love to give. I love to give, and I like to meet people. I like that's my socialization. Actually, that's where I always meet people. Is joining the eating together and joining the senior center. The Eating Together program here in Baltimore County is part of a national initiative that was started over 50 years ago as part of the Older Americans Act. Its original mission is still important today, offering a nutritious meal in a group setting so that you're not eating home alone, you're getting that food already prepared, we know that it's nutritionally balanced, and you get to do it with friends. Send in your one gravy on the food itself, the cost, none of those should be a deterrent for individuals to come and participate. And we have that program here in our senior center as well as several eating uh, sites in senior apartment buildings throughout the county. I actually like coming here, the Eating Together program, to meet different people in different backgrounds and everyone treats you like family, no strangers or anything like that. Eligibility for this program includes older adults age 60 and above, as well as their spouse. If the program is held at a senior housing facility, residents that are disabled and under the age of 60 are also eligible to participate. The Eating Together program in Baltimore County is held at over 30 sites. That includes the 20 senior centers and housing sites, as well as the Islamic Society's Golden Age Club. The program is often designed around other programs happening at the center. They could be ex exercise programs, other socialization programs, learning a new language, gathering for crafts, that type of thing. You get a well-balanced meal with the Eating Together program. It's at a reasonable price and you get to sit with a lot of nice people. The benefits that I see from the participants, it improves their um, healthy wellness and connect, social connections. That's what the I observe in the, with the participants. The Baltimore County Department of Aging provides services to older adults in Baltimore County. Our goal is really to provide programs, services, resources to help older adults stay as independent as possible in the community. So if we're doing our job right, the residents of Baltimore County should be living longer and living well. Baltimore County Department of Aging operates 20 senior centers all around the county. If you go anywhere around the Beltway, you're likely to find one in your neighborhood. We also operate a virtual senior center. As a result of COVID, we learned that not everybody could come to us, so we now have the option for individuals to do everything through the internet and to participate as well. But we also provide so many individualized services. We provide case management, benefit assistance, information and assistance. And even for individuals living in long-term care, we provide advocacy for those residents of nursing homes and assisted livings. So it, pretty much any older adult, no matter what their abilities or what their condition, we're there to assist them with living a better life. The Baltimore County Department of Aging has a wonderful resource in our Maryland Access Point of Baltimore County. It is a phone number that you should keep handy at 410-887-2594. We have certified information and referral specialists who will answer any question. There is nothing that they can't handle. They will give you information about all the resources we offer in the Department of Aging, as well as those that you may be eligible for throughout the county. Um, we also have a wonderful Facebook page. If you join, follow us on Facebook, or you can go to our website at baltimorecountymd.gov slash aging. The best way to find the closest center to you would be to call the Maryland Access Point line. From there, you wanna, be, you wanna register for the program and find about the individual schedule by calling that location specifically. We do ask for folks to register in advance and to put their reservation in for their meal about three days in advance. The menu would be found at that location because they can change from site to site. We do offer kosher meals at some sites and a halal meal at one site. The center staff and volunteers on site will select the menu, promote the program, have folks sign up, check them in when they get here. And the program was founded on having volunteers as a main part of the program. So on site, we encourage those that are participating to also volunteer. It is a great place to uh, meet new friends, uh, have fellowship with uh, all of them. I say please try. 
Come and join us. You might right. make a friend.